Hello, this is Dr. Kingston, and in this video, we will talk about the muscles of the soft palate. We are going to identify the five muscles that make up the soft palate and talk about their attachments, their innervation, and their actions. All right, so I find it useful to separate the soft palate muscles by where they originate, because that is really going to dictate how they act on the soft palate, so whether they lift it or depress it. We're going to work superior to inferior, right to left, right? So here in green, we've got the tensor veli palatini muscle. You can see that it originates superiorly on the sphenoid bone and the pharyngotympanic tube and then travels inferiorly and wraps medially around that pterygoid hamulus and into the palate. The right side joins up with the left side in the midline, and that's what creates that sling, that palatine aponeurosis that the other muscles here attach to. Levator veli palatini is just behind him in yellow on the diagram. That is going to originate from the temporal and sphenoid bones and also the pharyngotympanic tube again. Then it travels inferiorly to insert on the palatine aponeurosis. So when this fires, it is going to elevate the palate to close off the passageway between the nasopharynx and the oropharynx. Inferiorly, we find our two pharyngeal arch muscles originating on that palatine aponeurosis. Um, so we've got palatoglossus anteriorly and palatopharyngeus posteriorly. When these are covered with mucosa, they create the arches that mark the beginning of the oropharynx and then they surround the tonsillar fossa. fossa sorry. Underneath all that, though, they're striated muscles, and when they fire, they can elevate the tongue or the pharynx, or they can also depress the palate if the tongue and pharynx are held stationary. Musculus uvulae is kind of a funny little muscle. Its only bony attachment is a tiny little slip that attaches it to the palatine bone. Otherwise, it runs between the palatine aponeurosis and the soft tissues of the uvula. So when it fires, it pulls the uvula up toward the soft palate. So if you want a demonstration, you can look in the mirror and say, oh, and you can usually see it crunch up into the palate as the whole thing lifts. Now, one thing that I want to point out here is that all of these muscles are innervated by the vagus nerve, except for tensor veli palatini. Um, vagus nerve is what you would expect for these muscles. They're sitting in the pharynx, and you learned way back in the beginning of the course that vagus provides motor for all of the pharynx. So what is going on here with tensor veli palatini? Why is it innervated by the mandibular nerve instead? The short answer to this is that it's not really a pharyngeal muscle, it's an infratemporal muscle, and infratemporal muscles are all innervated by the mandibular nerve. The slightly longer answer, and the one you will probably like more, has to do with where tensor veli palatini originates. So, as you can see here, here is the medial pterygoid plate, here is the pterygoid hamulus, here is tensor veli palatini wrapping around that pterygoid hamulus to come into the soft palate. The key here is that this medial pterygoid plate is the cutoff between pharynx in the middle and infratemporal fossa lateral to it. Okay, so because tensor veli palatini's belly, so the muscular part that actually changes shape here, um, is sitting lateral to the medial pterygoid plate, it is considered an infratemporal muscle and it gets a branch from the mandibular nerve that it shares with some of our chewing muscles, the pterygoid muscles. The rest of the soft palate muscles attach medial to that medial pterygoid plate and therefore they are considered pharyngeal muscles and they follow the pharyngeal innervation pattern of motor coming from vagus. And that's really all there is to that. And apparently that's all there is to all of this. So here's your review question. Which of the palate muscles acts to open the pharyngotympanic tube? Correct answer is A, 
Levator Veli Palatini. Now, if it was included as a choice here, you might also have said Tensor Veli Palatini because both of these muscles have a very close relationship with the pharyngotympanic tube. So we can see the opening to the pharyngotympanic tube here, and both of these muscles will have superior attachments to that as they come through to insert onto the soft palate. This is why when you get on an airplane and your ears start feeling stuffy, uh, you can chew gum or you can do the, you know, funny face thing we all do and go, look to try to pop our ears open. What you're doing is activating these muscles and pulling that inferior part of the pharyngotympanic tube down to make it open into your nasopharynx. All right, and that is going to bring us to the end.